in the event of a disappearance. A national video store chain is preparing to do the same, and Coca-Cola has printed flyers with safety tips to teach your children. Uh, a toy store chain runs TV commercials that urge prevention through education. Seven months ago, Sam Myers began showing photographs of missing children in the phone books that he prints for colleges and suburban communities. The NAPCO Incorporated phone books also list tips to tell children. Now in the Chicago area, a milk company is printing photos of missing children on milk cartons. Walter Woodbury is vice president and general manager of the Hawthorne uh, Melody Dairy, which is working on this project with the Chicago Police. And good morning to both of you gentlemen. Good morning. Mr. Woodbury, first of all, how did this whole effort come about? Well, uh, it wasn't my idea originally. I was visiting a cotton manufacturer in Iowa, and uh, I saw uh, that one of the local dairies was using the pictures of the two uh, missing newsboys from Des Moines. Uh, the next day, I called our parent company, which is located here in New York, called Custom Creamery. I outlined uh, to them what I had seen and would we be able to do anything by contacting the Chicago Police Department. They said, go right ahead with it. And police have been very helpful in working oh God, with yes. you, right? Yes. I, I know it's a brand new program, but what kind of a response have you gotten so far? It's unbelievable. Uh, I've got it from all over the country. Uh, in, in fact, internationally, we've heard from Australia, Sweden, BBC in London. I should uh, point out that the police even told us that they are now following up a, a lead right now on from yeah, one of the pictures. I, I've heard that, and all we can do is hope. You know? yeah. Sam, you started uh, w working on your program, I'm told, after you saw the movie of the disappearance of Adam Walsh, that it just really got to you. Your effort has been in effect now, I believe, seven months? Seven, seven months. months. What kind of a response? Uh, very little response so far. Uh, it's because it's hidden in the phone book, and people are not, I don't think, totally aware that they're in there. Uh, haven't had any leads or tips that, uh, that the phone has been phone book has been used for that purpose yet. But it's your hope that if we had this going on in every community all across the nation, these people who take children and move from community to community would perhaps be found? Possibly, yes. Are you getting any uh, calls from any other communities? I mean, do you, do you have a feeling as to whether it's going to kind of snowball? I hope so. It, or, you mean, as far as get larger and yeah, other Yeah, get other communities to do the same type of thing? Well, other publishing companies are approximately a hundred independent uh, publishers who publish telephone directories. Yeah. And by doing the same thing, it could be nationwide. You have two young children yourself, right? Yes, I do. How, from what you've learned in doing all of this, how might that help you educate your own children? Well, uh, made me a better parent, I think, more concerned. And I, I look for things now, you know, if I see a, a kid unattended in a grocery store, that I keep my eyes on him to make sure he's with a parent. Mr. And Woodbury, what about you? Have you, has your whole thought of what goes on with these missing children changed at all since you got involved in this? It certainly has. I was pretty naive. I used to think missing children were taken by uh, women who couldn't have children and they would see a child and take the child. I learned an awful lot in talking with Joe Mayo of the police department. Uh, the more you hear, the more you realize how what terrible problem it is. And uh, I'm just so happy at the acceptance across the country. Dairies, uh, bag people, uh, magazine people, it's fantastic. And it's great that you two are doing your share to try to help one and a half million children a year. We have just received word from both of Hire us, I love it. Well, he doesn't want to hire us. He wants... And America wants to...